Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet even more stitch and I decided to show it on my dishcloth pattern. If you'd like to stay in touch with me, feel free to follow my Instagram or Facebook or feel free to subscribe my YouTube channel so you can stay updated about my new crochet tutorials. I hope you learned something new in this video and it helps you for your next project. Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you how you crochet even more stitch. Uh, I use this stitch for the dishcloth. I love it because of the texture and it's pretty sturdy. Uh, I'll show you uh, more versions because now you can see that I have one version with the same color of the yarn around the border and uh, I also use different color for the border and the second version. I use loops but also it's optional so I will also show you how to make the loop or if you decide not to also like without it it's pretty simple and uh, also it's pretty beginner friendly so if you know how to slip stitch and how double crochet you're good to go so let's get started so and for this tutorial I'm gonna use these two colors so one yellow it's for the middle part and the red color is for the border of course I'm gonna show you the second version without different uh, yarn color of the border so I'm gonna use just the yellow but everything I will everything explain uh, also uh, I use um, yarn 100% cotton which I would recommend it of course you can do like even with the acrylic yarn but uh, I think that the cotton is way better and uh, it's maybe a little bit harder to work with because uh, it has a tendency to split it while you're crocheting but I think that it just needs to practice also you can maybe use uh, some other cotton but it's more softer this is a bernat yarn and uh, it's a little bit um, like a, it's a little bit it's not too soft the yarn I would say but it's absolutely amazing inexpensive and you can uh, find it pretty much everywhere but of course it's up to you and I also use a five millimeter hook for that which is also recommended uh, on the yarn label so yeah I guess let's get started okay so my slip knot is already ready on my hook and now let's start with the odd number of the foundation chain and uh, if you want to follow my pattern of course you can have it a little bit bigger or smaller it's up to you but I uh, start with the 31 uh, chains and then we also have uh, 30 rows so let's make the 31 okay guys so now I just made my 31 uh, chains and now let's start with the second row I mean the first row so now we will skip this first chain uh, from the hook and we will insert the hook from the second one because this first chain uh, is a turning chain only and we don't count it as a first stitch so now we always start the row with the slip stitch and we always end the row with the half double crochet so I'm gonna show you how to do it right now so for the slip stitch we insert the hook into the second chain from our hook yarn over and we pull up the loop and with the same loop we pull through uh, the loop what we had so this is our first slip stitch and now uh, we make half double crochet and we do it that we make yarn over and then we insert the hook into the next chain yarn over pull up the loop and now you see that you have three loops on your hook so now we make yarn over again and pull the loop through all three loops so this is our first half double crochet now into the next chain we do uh, slip stitch so we just insert the hook yarn over pull up the loop and with the same loop we pull the loop through that loop what we had on our hook I hope it makes sense and now let's start with the half double crochet so we make yarn over insert the hook into the next chain yarn over pull up the loop we have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull all three so this is what you're doing until the end of the row that you're switching between slip stitch and half double crochet and uh, because our first skip chain was just a turning chain uh, we, uh, we then we end up with the even number and that means that we always start the row with the slip stitch and end the row 
with the half double crochet. So let me uh, finish this row and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so now I have my last two chains. Uh, so now I make slip stitch and into the last one there's my half double crochet. So this is it. So this is my first row and now you can see the wavy shape and this is exactly what we want. All right, so now at the end uh, you make chain one and then turn your project. So you will turn it like a page on the book. And because this chain is only a turning chain, so we don't count as a first stitch. And now we insert the hook into the first stitch, so which is here. But if I would see my project from top, I would pretty much skip this one chain and uh, insert the hook into the second one. But the second one is our first stitch. So let's insert that. And now we make the slip stitch because the last stitch of the previous row was half double crochet. So we always do the opposite stitches uh, from the previous row. So now we make the slip stitch. Now in because I know that this one was slip stitch in my previous row. So now we make half double crochet into that. And now slip stitch again. Half double crochet. And this is how you're alternating. But you always start the row with the sing I mean with the slip stitch and end the row with the half double crochet always so here it is so far and this is exactly the texture what uh, we need to get so this is how you continue until the end of the row switching the slip stitch and um, slip stitch and the half double crochet okay so now I have last two stitches uh, this is my last stitch and it's pretty hard to see but don't forget about it. Uh, so now I make my slip stitch. And now I make my last stitch and it's a half double crochet. So this, the last stitch is pretty tricky and it's pretty tight but yeah, just let's do it. So and this is my end of the second row and it looks so far like that. So now again we are at the end of the row and we make chain one. It's a turning chain so we don't count it as a first stitch. And because our last stitch was half double crochet so our first stitch on the third row is the slip stitch. So this is the pattern. This is uh, the even moss stitch and this is what you will be doing until the end of your dishcloth. Of course uh, your length is uh, whatever you want but um, I make a uh, like a square shape so I'm gonna make 30 rows of those and it will make a yeah the, the, the rectangle shape and then I will be uh, back with you and I'll show you how to do the border with a different color or the same color okay guys so now I just want to show you uh, how how it turned out and now I'm just on a, on my halfway of the dishcloth so uh, I have still halfway more to do uh, I just want to show you how to count the rows here like of course you can either um, like write down some notes on your phone or on a paper uh, or but if you don't have anything like that and then you just like leave the project and uh, come back like later to finish it like let's say the other day and then you don't know how many rows it is pretty simple uh, you can see that this is uh, the lines the diagonal lines it's always the one row and also there's like a one row between so now you can see that this is my first row second this is the between those two diagonal lines this is the third four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so now i have seventeen rows i think this is kind of the best or you can also just count those lines times two but then you have to uh plus one because of this um because of the first row uh so then you you can count it also this way so okay so i hope that uh, you enjoyed this pattern and yeah i'll be back once i'm done and then we're gonna do the rest <laughs> 
All right, so here's my dishcloth and this is uh, how it looks. And now let's do the border. So it's gonna be super easy. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the same color so we don't have to cast it off, but we can just uh, continue. So this was my last half double crochet. And now I'm gonna make 10 chains. So those two, ch those 10 chains uh, is uh, for the loop. So let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. So now I have 10 and now I will make a slip stitch right at the same stitch that we make the half double crochet. So I'm just going to make slip stitch right there. And now I will be continue single crochet all around and each corner I'm going to make three single crochets. So it's going to be uh yeah it's just for the corner so then and we will end right here and then we make also single crochet around the loop so it's gonna be a little bit thicker and yeah i think that it looks uh, like way better so now uh i just made a slip stitch and now let's make because this is the side of the project there's not exactly uh like stitch stitches right it's just the side of them so now you have to pretty much uh do it intuitively where to insert your hook but it's pretty uh, straightforward so wherever you see the uh, space for that just do it also i would recommend uh before i'm gonna start showing you i just want to recommend to uh always insert the hook in the chain not in uh, let's say space because then it would make uh, like a holes uh and it doesn't look uh nice so let's uh insert the hook in the first whenever it's possible and make the single crochet now it's right here and and all around all right so now this is my first side so now you can see that it looks uh, cleaner it looks like nicer when you have the border of course it's optional but i just uh, i just feel that it's like way it looks way better and now just i'm at the corner so here is my stitch um at the like at the bottom and uh, i'll make three single crochets in the same stitch this is what you do always in the one corner and then you just continue to make um, single crochets all around and this is my uh bottom so uh this is my like uh, where i started the uh, dishcloth so now i always insert the hook right like now you can see right into those uh, chains pretty much so yeah this is how you continue until until right here so whenever I uh, I'll get there I'll just show you how to finish the loop and how to cast it off and then it's gonna be ready uh, your dish cloth with the one uh, one color Okay, so now I finished my uh, border around the dishcloth on each side and now uh, what I have to finish is just this loop and I also made a single crochet all around. So this is my last single crochet on the side and now let's make the single crochet in every chain of the loop. So you're gonna make 10 single crochets. Okay, so now I have my last single crochet on the 10th loop chain <laughs> and now I will just in the first single crochet that I make just right um, next to the loop I just make slip stitch and uh, and then just cast it off so I just make pretty much the loop and then you can uh, just cut the yarn and pull through so you can just grab the scissors cut it 
pull through and tie the knot right here and then you will just weave in this thing and this is how you make the border with the same color and with the loop and this is how it looks and now I'm gonna show you how to uh, make the border with different colors so how to join new color and uh, yeah also with the loop and without the loop too all right guys so now i'm gonna show you how to do it without the loop and it's pretty easy so i'm just gonna show you just this little part so this is your last uh, half double crochet of the row and now you will make two more single crochets in the same stitch and now you will continue to do make the single crochet all around exactly how we did it uh, with the loop so this part is uh, absolutely the same so then once you get here you will just do the slip stitch uh, in the in the half double crochet i know that it's uh, still part of the last row but uh, it's gonna be with the slip stitch it's gonna be just right so then you will just make the single crochet around three single crochets in each corner and then you will just make the slip stitch here and your dish coat will be done without the loop Okay, and now I'm gonna show you how to join a new color and make the uh, border with the different color. It's gonna be the same, just the thing is that you will, uh, yeah, you will need, just need another another color of the yarn. You can, this is actually your last uh, half double crochet stitch of the last row. So then you can just safely, just right here, you can uh, just cut the yarn and you will weave in uh, later. And now uh, what I would actually do is that I would cast it off right now. So you will just pull through and uh, so and make like a knot right here. And this is what you will weave in later. And now grab your new color, whatever you want for the border. And now you will insert the hook into the last uh, stitch of that half double crochet. Make the and take the uh, new color and pull through so now you have the loop and make chain and I will just tie this chain so this is how and then you will again weave in this this end at the end and now again it's up to you so now if you want to loop you have to make 10 chains and exactly the same way how we did it before you will just make a single crochet all around and if you don't want to loop you just uh, make uh, three single crochet in the stitch and now we can also hide this uh, tail and uh, we make just a single crochet all around exactly the same way how we did it with the one color the same color And it will look looks very nice and yeah this is how you will be continuing so this is how it looks so far and then again you will make three single crochets in each corner right up to here then and you will make the slip stitch right here and cast it off so this is without the loop and again with the loop it's pretty much the same so when we um, when we make that one chain but I use it just like to pretty much secure that. So we make 10 chains. One, two, three, four. Then slip stitch in the same stitch. I would also just tie the tails so everything is like tight and nothing loosened but don't worry you will you will be in it at the end so mm, it will be secure and now again we just make single crochet all around all right so this is how it looks i have the border done and now we just uh, have to be win the the ends so let's start with this one this corner uh because uh yeah i just want to show you how to like how to do it you're gonna need yarn needle let's grab this uh, red color and start to weave in so what i would do uh just in case uh, i would just make a double knot so you will just insert your hook like beneath the same color 
if you have just the one color border that's totally uh that's totally it's it's easier so now i just want to uh secure that so i know that if i'm gonna wash it it won't untangle or anything so i'll make just a double knot uh first so now i know and it's pretty um uh, you do not it's pretty like invisible so it's uh it won't be like a scene or anything and then what i'm gonna do i just will follow uh the yarn like uh just in the same the stitches that i had used the same color and also i just want to uh don't make it just the straight but you have to also get back so it won't be um it won't uh, untangle. So now I would just go anywhere along the same color yarn and then I would just uh, go back and I think that this is enough. It doesn't have to be like too too long so then you will just cut it and it's safe. So it won't untangle. Now let's grab this one and make the same weavings. So now we will even this yellow color. So I would just uh, weave in like here and back, here and back, and that should be enough. I always try to like. Mm, insert the needle like somewhere between the stitches so it won't be seen on the other side so it's pretty much like hidden in the stitches now I just go back it's pretty much anywhere you feel so it's nothing there's nothing like uh, wrong or right way and I'll just go back So here it is so you don't even like pretty much see it so now we'll just cut the yarn right into it and then you will do it with the rest and yeah and then it's actually nice when you crochet the set of this dish cloth with the different colors so then like you can make the next one with the red color inside and the yellow like a border and it's a nice set nice um a nice nice gift handmade gift and it's super uh, super fast and yeah very nice project to do so i hope that uh, it was everything uh, clear to you if not please just leave me a comment or email me on lenka at the happyheartsy.com and i will be more than happy to help you so have a great day